so a brief little update coming from Sledge, the community battlefront manager dude, over on the official forums. He says, as you know, our team has been working hard on the January update. While we do not have a specific day, date, or time to share at this moment, I can say this update is coming. Alongside this update, you will also see our first drop of free additional content we promised here, along with Heroes Holiday Rewards. The path has been long, and we appreciate your dedication and passion around Star Wars Battlefront. Look for server downtime, notifications, and full patch notes to come. Now, a couple things. One, it says incoming January update. Now, if you're not an idiot, you know there's only 11 days left in January. And he said it's the January update, so that means the DLC would come out by the end of January. But I don't really see that happening, but fuck it, who knows? Crazy shit will happen. We've got that. He also says the Heroes Holiday Rewards will come. I'm not really sure what that is. Either I'm dumb or I just don't know. No, you'll know. And then we've got, alongside the update, for a game that hasn't been updated in quite a little bit since my last video on the update, because I like doing the updates. But yeah, that's just kind of the news there. There's not much there. I do like how he said we don't have a specific day, date, or time. <laughs> I don't know why he just listed a bunch of adjectives. He was reading the Thoris. So I wanted to talk about, there was a quick graph. Hopefully, man, if you need the link, comment. I'll show you the graph. But basically what it is, is it shows the Star Wars Battlefront peak hours, players, and shit like that from the 12th to the 19th. On PC, it, it's super stagnated. It doesn't really go anywhere. The same amount of people play the game no matter what. It barely, very, 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 very fluctuates. On Xbox, there's a slight upward uh, in the trending. And on the PS4, it's a way more noticeable upward diagonal still. Not huge, but you know, it's still noticeable. So what that means is that PS4 is actively getting more and more people to either get on, play it regularly, or it's just growing. Xbox slightly growing. PS PC is actually slightly dipping also. So that's to keep an eye out for that. That's really all you can take away from it other than that it's dying on PC and the other two games have a slight increase. So we'll see when DLC comes. It'll be really interesting. Oh, shout out to that dude that did it though. Um, uh, what was his name? His name was, uh, he's a friend of the Battlefield subreddit. They, uh, Pair Siege or something like that. Yo, shout out to anybody who was either on the Reddit or shit like that that is constantly doing cool shit like this. It's a cool graph. I'll probably link it because it's really cool. And then the final bit of news is why is Battlefront considered lacking content? Someone made a long post about it having Battlefront 2 had 18 maps and 4.5 game modes and space battles with 6 maps, 2 game modes. Battlefront has 15 maps. This is my opinion. Op ed shit. But let me just say this. To me, it only has two game modes, you know, or a couple. You got big, yeah, it has two. Big and small. <laughs> you got Supremacy, Walker Assault, and then, the, and then fucking Turning Point, which needs to be a thing. And then you have all the small game modes. And in those, in my opinion, the maps are trash in the smaller game modes. They do not work. Yeah, they're not COD's linear three lane shit, but they're also trash though. Most of them don't even play good. And on the big maps, yeah, they all, four out of five are like really good. Endor is kind of meh, and Jakku is kind of meh, Walker Assault. So I put those together and you equal one good map. But however, I will say that I love this game. I played it a shit ton, I'm gonna pull it up. I think I'm at like six days, but I moved on to Rainbow Six Siege for a little bit. So it doesn't have a lot of content. And to put this in perspective, I'll Google this right now live, but Battle of, uh, Karkin, or back to Karkin DLC came out for Battlefield 3 really soon when that game dropped. Let me Google this for y'all real quick. And so when uh, China Rising came out, even Battlefield 4 was broken and China Rising still came out at a decent time. Uh, it, the Battlefield 3 initial release was October 25th and back to Karkin's release was... That shit came out really soon. But anyways, yeah, for the big modes and that, there was like 9 maps or something. So yeah, you can compare it to well, that's my favorite thing, is y'all comparing it to previous Star Wars Battlefronts. Compare this to previous dice games, please. Because y'all are handicapping dice. Like, if you want to say, oh, LucasArts made Star Wars Battlefront and they make good games. Motherfucker, this is dice competing with dice. I don't give you... This is like y'all handicapping. I don't care how good the Lucas Star Wars Battlefront games were. This is fucking dice. They made Battle, Battlefield 3 one of my most favorite games of all time. One of the best of all time. And y'all gonna handicap them comparing it to them? Anyways, yeah, and it was December 6th. So October, November, December. So November, December. So it was two months before we got fucking Karkin. And, and we knew when it was coming. And, we, and guess what? So that took us up to like, what, 12 maps? And if you were like me in a, in a custom server and stuff, you had... So we would play like Metro, St. Cross, and Grand Bazaar. A little bit of uh, Davavon Peak. And then you throw in some of the Karkin maps like Gulf of Oman, uh, the back of the Karkin. You know, you're up to six or seven maps depending on what you throw in that rotation. 
that's seven or eight maps that are really good compared to this game where you've got like maybe three that you really prefer you know I, like come on man like i'm not even like joking like this is just how facts are bruh and <laughs> you know man the worm can't confirm shout out to that and then i want to talk about real quick just so i don't seem like a hoser or a poser or a fragment I got, where is it, I got 57% win-loss ratio, but let me pull up my time played into this game so I don't look like a flip-flopper dude. I have 135 hours into this game. I played the fuck out of it, bro, and, and if, if this game was as flat, if this game wasn't as flat as everybody said it was, PC community wouldn't have dipped like they did. I wouldn't be on Rainbow Six Siege and shit like that. Like, it's cool that everybody wants to make excuses and shit, but it's really fucking annoying. Like, I get it if you think this game has a lot of content for you and shit, but don't kid yourself, dude. It's not true. Compare this to Battlefield. Don't compare this to the previous ones. Compare this to your favorite game of all time. Look how they handled the DLC. Shit like that. Because we're not talking about... <laughs> we're not talking about some half-assed developer bullshit. We are talking about DICE. The masterminds behind some of the greatest shooter games of all time. And we're talking about EA, who's giving them the financial backing, who've already sold 13 million copies of this game, and giving them the full financial backing because it's a Star Wars game. And you're just going to make excuses? If anything, this should be the game that drops four DLCs, drops a fifth one, continues support, because this game's going to sell a shit ton. But guess what? That's not what we're experiencing right now. So I don't want to hear excuses. I just want to hear you as a consumer go, you know what, compared to other products that on the market that I have played before in previous iterations by the same maker, this is a watered down product compared to what their potential is. And then you can make your excuses like, oh, you know I mean, you know, they try. I don't want to hear that shit. I just want to know from you as a consumer, <laughs> is this a quality product? And is this good compared to their other products they have made? Because this is exactly like if, if a product maker made one, like 10 out of 10 product, and then sold you a seven, and you're like, well, a seven, you know, if you compare the seven to another eight, it looks pretty good. I don't know, compare the seven to a 10 made by the same fucking dude. But this is me on a side tangent rant. But that's just me. If you made it to the end of this video, what's up? If you didn't make it to the end of this video, fuck you. I don't know, that's pretty much my soapbox, bro. That's about it, that's my Star Wars Battlefront Roundup news. But like I said, two months and we had Back to Karkin, which was an amazing DLC. We had stars, and then you also had custom servers and shit like that for Battlefield 3. <laughs> like, like, if you want to sit here and debate me Star Wars Battlefront versus Battlefield 3, I will debate your ass on the podcast. I'll eat you for breakfast, dude. Battlefield 3, way over this game. Don't even, is way over it. That's why I'm so comfortable in saying that this game is, is just, like, dead for me right now. But peace out. I love this game, though. Peace out, though. <laughs>